You've just seen four different designs to our social analytics example. Each one exhibits different resource usage characteristics. The question now is, which of these designs is best? The answer is, I have no idea. Which one you would use depends on your particular situation. Are you developing for a single organization or for a managed package? What else might be going on in the organization when you call this function? Are there requirements beyond those that were defined for this example? There is no one right solution, but that's okay. The purpose of this exercise was not to figure out a solution to a particular social analytics problem. The intent here was to show you a process. The time you spend designing your software is the least expensive time that you'll be spending on a project, and it is the one with the greatest payouts. So rather than trying to come up with a single right solution for a problem, take the approach shown here. Come up with multiple approaches, then look through them and choose the right result for your circumstances. This process of coming up with multiple designs has additional benefits. It will help you gain a much better understanding of the problem and allow you to anticipate potential issues that might come up later. Ultimately, it makes you a better developer. You may also find yourself experiencing something very interesting. Later on in the project, after you've written your code and completed the unit tests, you'll start running bulk tests and you'll discover, to your surprise, that you're not even close to any of the limits. It may also make you wonder why I made such a fuss about limits in the first place. What you're really seeing is proof of my point. If you deal with limits at design time, if you think out your worst case or at least reasonable scenarios and design your code to take those into account, chances are you will never actually see a limit problem throughout the entire life of your application. In other words, if you deal with limits at design time, they tend to simply vanish.